From the moment life first arose on this planet, extinction has been an inexorable force, shaping the destiny of ecosystems and the course of human history. For every species that thrives today, countless others have vanished into the mists of time, leaving behind a profound silence in their wake. Join us as we embark on a journey through the annals of natural history to uncover the stories of these lost giants and their enduring impact on the world we know. Through stunning animations, evocative archival footage and detailed infographics, we will bring these magnificent creatures back to life, unraveling the mysteries of their existence and the ecological ripples that continue to emanate from their absence. Prepare to be captivated by the sheer scale of their presence, the intricate tapestry of relationships they forged, and the profound lessons their stories hold for our own time. This is not just a tale of loss, but a testament to the interconnectedness of all living things and a call to action for the preservation of our planet's irreplaceable biodiversity. Our journey begins on a remote island in the Indian Ocean, a place once teeming with life and wonder, Mauritius. Here amidst a lush tapestry of volcanic peaks and pristine beaches, lived a creature as peculiar as it was iconic, the dodo. Imagine, if you will, a bird so unburdened by predators that it had lost the ability to fly, its wings reduced to mere vestiges of their former glory. The dodo, far from being the clumsy, dim-witted creature of legend, was remarkably well adapted to its island home. With its powerful legs and sharp beak, it navigated the dense undergrowth, feasting on fallen fruits, seeds, and the occasional insect. For centuries, the dodo thrived in this island paradise, its existence intertwined with the fate of the surrounding flora. But the arrival of humans in the late 16th century spelled disaster for this gentle giant. Sailors drawn by tales of a land teeming with exotic creatures brought with them a host of unintended consequences. Rats, pigs and monkeys, stowaways on those early ships, ran rampant across the island, decimating the dodo's nests and competing for its food sources. The dodo, naive and unafraid of these newfound foes, became easy prey. Within a mere century of human contact the last of its kind had vanished, leaving behind a void in the ecosystem that reverberates to this day. The impact of the dodo's extinction extended far beyond its own demise. This gentle giant played a crucial role in the island's delicate ecological balance, one that scientists are only beginning to fully comprehend. You see, some of the island's most iconic trees, like the towering Tambalacoque, relied heavily on the dodo for their survival. The dodo, with its powerful gizzard, was uniquely equipped to grind down the Tambalacoque's tough seeds, aiding in their dispersal and germination. With the dodo gone, the Tambalacoque's seeds lay scattered on the forest floor, unable to penetrate the dense layer of leaf litter and sprout anew. The decline of the Tambalacoque had a cascading effect on the island's ecosystem, impacting countless other species that depended on its shade, its fruit, and the intricate web of life it supported. Today, conservationists are working tirelessly to revive the fortunes of the Tambalacoque, manually scraping the seeds to mimic the dodo's digestive process and planting them in protected areas. The story of the dodo serves as a poignant reminder of the interconnectedness of all living things and the far-reaching consequences of our actions. It highlights the crucial role that even seemingly insignificant creatures can play in maintaining the delicate balance of nature.
restore the balance of this fragile ecosystem. Our final journey takes us to the skies of North America, to witness a spectacle so awe-inspiring, so vast in scale, that it boggles the mind billions upon billions of passenger pigeons, their wings darkening the sun as they migrated across the continent. Imagine, if you will, a flock so dense that it could take hours, even days, to pass overhead, their droppings falling like rain upon the forest below. These birds, once the most abundant bird species in North America, played a pivotal role in the continent's ecology, their lives intertwined with the fate of the forests they inhabited. The passenger pigeon's diet consisted primarily of acorns, beech nuts, and other mast crops, which they consumed in vast quantities, their droppings dispersing seeds far and wide. Their feeding habits, far from being destructive, actually promoted the health and diversity of the forests, creating openings in the canopy that allowed sunlight to reach the forest floor, stimulating new growth. Their nesting habits were equally impactful. Passenger pigeons congregated in massive colonies, sometimes numbering in the millions, their combined weight breaking branches and even felling trees, creating clearings in the forest that spurred new growth and provided habitat for other species. But the passenger pigeon's very abundance, the defining characteristic of its existence, ultimately proved to be its downfall. As European settlers began to expand westward across North America, they encountered a resource seemingly limitless in its bounty, the passenger pigeon. The birds were hunted relentlessly, their meat a cheap and plentiful source of protein for a growing nation. Nets were strung across valleys trapping thousands of birds at a time, trees were felled, their nests destroyed, their young left to perish. The passenger pigeon, once a symbol of abundance, was driven to the brink of extinction in a matter of decades. The last known passenger pigeon, Martha, died in captivity at the Cincinnati Zoo in 1914, marking the end of an era. The extinction of the passenger pigeon sent shockwaves through the ecosystems of North America. Forests that had once teemed with life fell silent. The natural cycle of disturbance and regeneration, once driven by the passenger pigeon's presence, was disrupted, leading to changes in forest composition and structure. The loss of the passenger pigeon also had implications for human society. Their meat, once a staple food source for many Native American tribes, was no longer available. Their feathers, once used for bedding and clothing, became a rare commodity. The passenger pigeon story serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of nature and the devastating consequences of unchecked human exploitation. As we've journeyed through the annals of natural history, we've witnessed the awe-inspiring splendor of creatures lost and the profound impact their absence continues to have on our world. The dodo, the woolly mammoth, the passenger pigeon, these are but a few examples of the countless species that have vanished from our planet, leaving behind a void in the intricate web of life. Their stories serve as a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of all living things and the urgent need for conservation. We are the stewards of this planet, entrusted with safeguarding its biodiversity for generations to come. The future of conservation lies not just in protecting the species that remain, but also in exploring the possibilities of revival. The extinction projects, while still in their infancy, offer a glimmer of hope the potential to right past wrongs and restore balance to ecosystems disrupted by human actions. But these endeavors also raise profound ethical and environmental questions that demand careful consideration. What are the implications of reintroducing long-extinct creatures into environments that have evolved in their absence? What is our responsibility to the creatures we bring back to life? These are questions that we must grapple with as we navigate the uncharted waters of de-extinction. The time to act is now. Support conservation efforts. Educate yourself and others about the importance of biodiversity. Together, we can write a new chapter in Earth's history. A chapter where extinction is no longer a foregone conclusion, but a challenge to be overcome.